So I'm gonna show you guys so you can make super fire wiggle and warp transitions inside of After Effects very, very easily, and they look amazing. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jacob, and I'm uploading a tutorial every single day for the entire month of December. So make sure you guys hit subscribe. We're also offering buy one, get one free editing packs over on our website. So make sure you guys go ahead and check those out as it's a really cheap way to level up your edits going into the new year. So let's hop right into this. So we got this little Dirk music video opened up in the timeline here, and we're gonna get started just by making a cut where our frame or our clips transition. So I'm gonna press command shift D and then go over to this one command shift D and then this one command shift D it doesn't have to be perfect and then boom all right we have our four cuts here let's go ahead and get started on this one I'm going to right click create a new item and then create an adjustment layer and we're basically going to crop it to just apply at like this area right here so when it comes to the sauce of doing these warps and wiggles I do have to shout out my viral effects pack you guys can see if I open it up here we have tons of presets that you guys can apply on here to really get those warps. So if you wanna just drag and drop a warp hit on here, you can just call it a day with that. You guys can see instantly with the drag and drop how easy that is to create. This is another one of my favorites here inside of the pack. Anyways, all this will be linked down below. You can see we have a bunch of different warps inside of here. All super easy and we're doing buy one get one free. But let me show you guys how you can do them from scratch. So let's go back to that adjustment layer here and let's clear all this stuff off of here. Putting you guys onto some sauce here. Warp chroma, distort chroma, warp fisheye, and warp bubble. So we're going to start with warp chroma here. Put this in the center and we're going to search up S underscore warp. Drag and drop that on your clip here. And then boom, you guys can see we instantly get these nice little areas of the RGB split. And if you want to turn up the warp amount as well, you can do that. So I'm going to keyframe the center warp amount to be really high, something like this. And then we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to bring it down to like nothing. And if I play this, so it doesn't look good, but we do need to add a little bit of effects for it to look good. So let's go ahead and add on our distort chroma. So just go ahead and drag that and drop that on here. And let's go ahead and bring the amount to zero and then go to the very beginning, set a keyframe, go to the middle, and then turn this up just a little bit, just like this, and then go to the end and bring it back to zero. And if we go ahead and play this through, it's a little bit long. We're gonna press U on it and we're gonna bring these keyframes closer together, just like so. And I'm also gonna highlight these ones Go to keyframe assistant and easy ease these ones out and then right click and we're going to go over to and easy these ones in and then just easy ease the middle ones here. And I think I need to make these way closer together. And we'll have these ones come out. And we could do it like that. super fire and you could play around with bringing these ones out i like having this one go to the end maybe we'll extend this one quite a bit like this there we go so what i'm also going to add to this as well a deep glow so just drag and drop that on our footage and it's really going to make this entire thing pop so at the center we're going to keyframe our two keyframes press u on our keyboard and we have our deep glow at the bottom here we're going to go to the beginning and really just set them to zero because we don't want them to be happening until there. And then we're going to go to the end and also set them to zero here. But we also, we want to play around with these. So we're going to copy these and we're going to bring them, maybe set them to zero here and then maybe set them to zero like here. So we're going to get a look like this. Just a little flash effect there. And if you want to throw on a flicker as well. Just going to drag and drop this on here. Let's go ahead and bring the amplitude and the random frequency to zero and then zero for this one here. And then when it gets to the center, we're really going to right click and go over to reset them. And then we're going to turn this random frequency up and then turn the amplitude up as well. And then we're going to copy these at zero here. And we're going to bring them back down like here. So we get this. super fire warp we got going on there kind of a distort warp we copy and paste that you can bring it over here and then duplicate that a few times you 
you guys can see how easy it is. And especially if you dive into the viral effects pack that I was using earlier, guys, it's literally a cheat code. Just go and do presets, open up the viral effects pack, 1080p footage. Let's go for the new presets here. I just updated it as well. All of these war pits and transitions and roll transitions, literally just create an adjustment layer, drag and drop your roll transition on, and then boom, you literally have a super crazy effect. I mean, it's kind of blending with this as well, but here we go. Let's put this like at the beginning here. That obviously doesn't really fit there. There we go. Super fire. And I showed you guys all the warps before. There's a ton of them. Transitions as well. Chroma Distort, Dark Fade. I don't need the app about this anymore. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, leave a like. Go check out our buy one, get one free editing packs linked in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.